the island of Philae. Philae is an island in the Nile River located close to Aswan, southern Egypt. It is one of the most fascinating landmarks of Egypt. The island of Philae is a small island, about 450 meters long and less than 150 meters wide, captured the imagination of many travelers to Egypt from early times. Known as the Pearl of Egypt for its beauty, plants and palm trees grew from the fertile deposits that had collected in the crevices of the granite bedrock. There was a feeling of mystery because of gracious Greco-Roman temples and colonnades, kiosks and sanctuaries rose proudly against the skyline. Marked as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the place is often dubbed as a marvelous feat in ancient engineering. Deeply connected to the cult of Isis dating back to the 7th century, the temple was constructed by Mechtanebo I. The construction of the Aswan Dam in the early 1900s threatened to submerge several ancient Egyptian landmarks. The original site lies underneath the water of Lake Nasser. A massive rescue project was launched by UNESCO in the 1960s to protect these structures. The Philae Temple Complex was relocated from the Philae Island to its current location in the Ajilkia Island during this rescue operation. They preserved the original appearance and layout of the complex and even landscaping the island to match its former location. The monuments of Philae cover four major epochs, the last part of the Pharaonic period, the Ptolemaic period, the Roman epoch and the Christian period. The chief monuments are the Temple of Isis and her son Horus, the beautiful Arch of Hadrian, the Temple of Hathor and the Kiosk of Trajan. The walls of the temples at Philae are covered in ancient hieroglyphs, amongst the large carvings of the gods of ancient Egypt. The Temple of Philae is the main feature, and there are several other smaller temples on the island where tourists admire spending time there. Built during the reign of Ptolemy II, Egypt's Greco-Roman period, the Temple of Isis at Philae is dedicated to Isis, Osiris, and Horus. As one of the last places of worship built in the classical Egyptian style, it has a complex and fascinating history. Construction began around 690 BC. The temple walls contain scenes from Egyptian mythology of Isis bringing Osiris back to life, giving birth to Horus and mummifying Osiris after his death. Its complex of structures was completed by Ptolemy II Philadelphus reign 285 to 246 BC and his successor Ptolemy III Eurgetes reign 246 to 221 BC. One of the biggest attractions of the venue is the light and sound show that takes place in the temple complex. During this event, the entire temple complex is lit up in fabulous lighting and sound effects, laser projections to create an interesting spectacle in the region. The audio commentary is available in many languages like French, English, Spanish, and German. The ambience of the island's ruins bathed in flood lighting is hard to describe adequately, but this is definitely a recommended way to spend an evening.
Kiosk of Trajan is one of the most beautiful and elegant buildings which is a characteristic of this island and dates back to the Roman era. Trajan consists of a rectangular room surrounded by 14 columns with flowering crowns, and small walls were built between. Inscriptions and decorations between the columns weren't completed. There are two of them representing Emperor Trajan burning incense in front of Isis and Osiris. It has three entrances, the first in the east, the second in the west, and a third smaller door in the north, and it is known as Pharaoh's Bed. Official boats wait to transport visitors from the Marina Philae Temple to Ejokia Island to enjoy their trip there.